Okay, I want to be teaching you physics here today, and I want to be looking at UTME syllabus for mechanics. UTME mechanics, and this mechanics, I'll, I'll, I want to pick interest in the concept of motion. In the concept under motion. When we talk about motion, we simply refer to as change in motion of an object. And this study of motion was introduced by the Italian physicist that we call Galileo Galilei. But the comprehensive aspect of motion was studied by the English scientist called Sir Isaac Newton. When you look at motion, of course, a body needs to change its position. And for this thing to change, I must apply a force. When I apply the force, the object starts changing its position, it starts moving. If I study this motion and I study the force that causes the motion, I call it a name. If I study this motion and I refuse to study the force that causes the motion, I call it another name. In this part of the work, for you to end me, I am going to be describing the motion of an object without considering the force that brings about the motion. And I'm going to call this aspect of motion, I'll call it a name, kinematic. In this motion, we make use of certain parameters. And these parameters, they include the following. Of course, an object was at a point here before. For this object to have moved, the object must have gone away from the space. If object go away from a place, we say the object has been displaced. So therefore, we are going to be making use of a terminology called displacement. The note that we symbol S. Of course, the time will not wait for us. It takes a particular time to change. So time is another term. And the symbol will be T. We are not going to look at how fast or slow do I change this thing. And I'm going to call that one speed or velocity. And I will be denoting that one with symbol V and U. Where U is the initial and V is the final. So, if an object is going with a particular speed, this object may slow down and it may increase the speed. When we increase the speed, we say we accelerate. But we can decrease the speed, we say we accelerate in a negative way. And we call it decelerate. So acceleration means change in speed. So I'm going to be talking about acceleration. The symbol is A. So I'll pick them one after the other from velocity to acceleration. So when I say velocity, I mean change in displacement with time. So velocity is change in displacement over time. But when we are doing this displacement, of course, we can have this velocity at a time to first be maybe very slow. We are taking, we are covering distance of 10 meter in one second. 10 meter in one second. All of a sudden we change this thing and we start covering 15, we start covering 20. When we are done with everything, somebody asks us that what was our velocity? To answer that question, I use about 5 7 velocities in the journey. So it's difficult to say, oh, I, it was 10 meters per second, or 15 meters per second, or 20. The best way to answer the question is to look for average value. But in velocity, there are only two possibilities, initial and final. What is average when we have two? We're going to say the average, which is like mean value, will be final velocity plus initial velocity. Divide by how many are they? Just two divided by two. So I can say 
my, my velocity is the same as average velocity. So if this velocity is average velocity, what is average velocity? Final plus initial over 2. What is velocity? Displacement over time. If average velocity is my velocity, then displacement over time is my average velocity. So therefore, I can say displacement over time equals to average velocity. So meaning this equals to this, then this equals to this, then this over this equals to this. If I cross multiply and I make displacement the subject of formula by displacement S will be equals to T multiplied by everything here, V plus U all into T, then divide by 2. This is one of the biggest equations that we use to solve problems under kinematic. From again, we have to look at the definition of what we call acceleration. We have to look at the definition of acceleration. How do we define acceleration? We said acceleration A means change in velocity over time. The rate of change of velocity. And what do I mean by change? The term change means final minus initial. Right? That means my, my acceleration will now be equal to change in velocity. That means my final velocity is now with symbol u. Sorry, symbol v. And initial with symbol u. So change in velocity is equal to change in velocity is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity. That means acceleration equals to change in velocity over time, right? Acceleration will be equal to final velocity minus initial velocity all over time. This is called definition of acceleration. And from this definition of acceleration, I can make V the subject of the formula. So, if you cross multiply, you are going to have V minus U equals to 80. Take U to the other side. V equals to, when you get there, it becomes plus U. Plus 80. This is a very important equation. So, if I name them, the first equation I wrote, I call it number 1. And I decide to call this one number 2. This equation comes from the definition of average velocity. You want to solve motion question, no acceleration in your question. This formula goes, definition of average velocity. This one is from the definition of acceleration. To get the remaining two equations, which are V equals to U plus 80. Oh, sorry. Which are V squared equals to U squared plus 2AS. And S equals to ut plus half at squared. To get these two equations, we only make use of definition of average velocity and definition of acceleration. How do I get this one? If I want to get this s equals to ut plus half at squared, carry this your v and put v here in definition of average velocity. I'll run from here so that I can. Use that equation properly. So I'm going to write that equation of average velocity once again. V plus U over 2 into T. Anywhere I see V, what would I write? U plus 80. Therefore, S equals to, we are less of the for V now. V, I write that in red. U plus 80. Then, you know, this is only V. Then plus U. All divided by 2 into t. This is the same as this. Just that I change the velocity to the definition from acceleration. If I expand the bracket here, s will be equal to u plus u to u plus a plus t 80. Then, you know, divide by 2. Then this 2 will also be here. Okay? 2 will also be here all into t. I'll still of this. Then finally, we are going to say that 2 we cancel to right and S will now be equal to what do I have? U plus. The n divided by 2 is half. So half 
A, T, everything into T. If I use T to multiply it around, S will be equal to U times T, U T. Plus, U times this, half A, T squared. So this is how we get that equation. S equals to U T plus half A, T squared. In order to get the equation that says V equals to V squared, equals to u squared plus 2as I will go to the definition of acceleration and make t the subject of the formula and substitute in average velocity so if I go from here once again let's write the definition of acceleration acceleration equals to uh, v minus u change in velocity over time Right? I want to make t subject of formula there. T equals to V minus U over A. Let me math. That is how I make this subject of formula. The measure of average speed or average velocity. Can you remember? We said S equals to V plus U over 2. Remember, T was under here before. Because your speed or velocity equals to displacement over time. Have it? Average speed equals to V plus U over 2. Like I added two things and I divide by 2. I took average. Make S subject of formula. That was how we got that equation that we wrote the last time. V plus U over 2 into T. Now, what do I want to do? So, the two T from the middle of acceleration into T here. So, I am going to use red pen to write that one that I substitute. So, I will have S equals to V plus U over 2 bracket. What is T from the of acceleration? T equals to V minus U over A. I expand. Let me mark. S equals to V times V. V squared. V times minus U. Minus uv, u times v plus uv, u times minus u minus u squared, two times a over two a. From there, this chop this, then s equals to v squared minus u squared over two a. If I cross multiply, I am going to write that here. If I cross multiply, if I cross multiply, I'm going to write 2as equals to v squared minus u squared. Taking u squared to this side, I am going to add v squared equals to, if this one gets here, it becomes plus u squared plus 2as. So, in the next class, I am going to apply this in solving simple problem. For UTMP question, when you know this, you have known this.